following video contains spoilers for Thor Love and Thunder. You have been warned. Hello everybody and welcome back to Joster Reviews, the show where we review things. Today we're talking about Thor Love and Thunder. First, let's talk about the good. Now, your opinion of this movie is probably going to entirely depend on your tolerance for goofy, over-the-top jokes. And I gotta say, I am a sucker for it. Like, I absolutely loved, like, all of the jokes in here. Like, there was a couple of moments where it felt like they were, like, pushing it a little bit, but the vast, major the vast majority of the time, I was laughing. Like, the jokes almost, like like, landed, like, 90% of the time. And, realistically, I could pretty much just stop the review right here, because, like, now that you know that I enjoyed the jokes for the most part, then you could probably tell that I absolutely love this movie, because this movie is what is known as, like, a pure comedy, where, like, pretty much everything else, like, logic or the movie sending a good message or most characterization is just like thrown out the window if like if a good joke can be made out of it and i gotta say like i am completely okay with that style of comedy like that is not something that upsets me in any way like i like obviously like jokes should have like internal logical consistency but at the same time, I am a sucker for over-the-top humor. Like, I could not care less if, like, if, like, the movie, like, foregoes logic for the sake of a joke. Or if, like, a character acts in a slightly stupid way so it can make me laugh. Like, I am not against that. And because of that, I didn't really have that many problems with the movie. But at the same time, there was also a lot of other things to like about this movie. For example, the performances. Like, the standouts here, of course, was Christian Bale, who just, like, absolutely nailed it as Gore the God Butcher. Like, he was very intimidating at times. And also Russell Crowe as Zeus, even though he was only there for, like, one scene. Like, he was one of my favorite parts of the entire movie, considering just how goddamn funny he was. Although, one performance that surprised me with how good it was was Natalie Portman as, like, Jane Foster. Like, in the first two Thor movies, like, she is kind of phoning it in. Like, so a lot of the times it does not seem like she wants to be there. And based on things that she's said after the fact, she did not want to be there. But in this movie, she actually did, like, a pretty good job, which surprised me, like, considering, like, how she was phoning it in, in the first m two movies. And, like, she and Chris Hemsworth ha have, like, re like, really good chemistry. Which, again, something that surprised me because, like, that was not really there in the first two Thor movies. And for what is pretty much par for the course for, like, most big Hollywood blockbusters nowadays, like, the action and, like, the visuals are pretty much all phenomenal. But, like, I'm pretty sh like... But, like, this movie stands out particularly because, like, Taika Waititi is a really good director. And he's just, like, has, is really good at set design. And he has a really good use of, like, vivid colors. Like, when they visit Omnipotence City. Like, that was, like, just a really well-designed set for one thing. And also, just, like, every single shot in this movie is so vibrant. Like, whether it's because of, like, the visual effects or, like, the CGI or the costumes or the sets, like, it's just so fun to look at. But, alas, no movie is perfect. Not even this one. So now let's talk about the bad. And I gotta say, this movie has a real tonal inconsistency to it. I mean, like... I loved the jokes, I loved gore, but these things just don't really mesh that well. It makes it feel like two completely different movies that the, like, they're just happening to happen at the same time. It's not like every single movie has to have exactly the same like tone and energy throughout the entire thing, but at the same time, it's just jarring when you go directly from someone dying of cancer to a joke about Old Spice commercials. And this is something that just, like, happens throughout the movie. Like, it, get, it gets kind of annoying at times. Like, Ragnarok, like, I love Ragnarok. And, like, like aside from, like, one moment, like, when Asgard gets destroyed and then Korg goes, oh, now those foundations are gone, sorry. Like, um, 
I feel like other than that one moment, it knows, like, when to be serious and, like, when to stop making such a joke out of everything. Like, there are a couple of moments, like, after, like, Odin's death or, like, some, like, somber scenes that I feel like were just, like, like, that, it gave us just enough time to just, like, get over, like, the sadness and, like, keep taking the impact of what happened before we start getting back to a hundred jokes this minute being thrown directly at you. This movie does not give you that time. Like, it's just, it just goes from serious, dark, god serial killer to, hey, goofy rock monster and screaming goats. But realistically, like, while I do consider this a problem and it's Definitely big enough of a problem that, like, um, it probably, like, would land, like, relatively, like, made high on my MCU ranking. Like, it's definitely not as good as Ragnarok. But, like, it definitely didn't ruin the movie for me. Like, I still really had, like, had a really good time in the movie, at the movies while doing this. And that is really how I measure movies. Like, did I have a good time? If I did, then I'm gonna like it. And that, and then I'm going to review it highly. I hope you enjoyed that video. I have a couple of more videos that are planned to, that I plan to release fairly soon. Like, you won't have to wait, like, months in between videos anymore. Like, hopefully. Like, it's the summer, so I have a lot more free time than I did in the school year. Although, once school starts back up again, I'll probably go back to not having that much free time to make YouTube videos. So... But at least we're in the summer now, and I have a couple of videos, like, scheduled to go up, like, next week and the week after that, if everything pans out well. So, I'll see you when I release those.